AVDS stands for Advanced Vacuum Drying System. As you know, Magnox love their acronyms. The AVDS is designed to dry away streams in the cuboidal DCIC, but it can also be adapted for other types of DCICs. The benefits of reduced temperature drying are that we don't need to add as much energy to the waste, saving time and money. So the AVDS consists of four independent drying stations connected to a common vacuum condensing unit. On each individual heating station, we can independently monitor the residual moisture content of the waste inside that DCIC. Barclays is just the beginning for AVDS. There's already been interest from other stations within the Magnox fleet, but we also know there are other parts of the NDA estate who are very interested in the technology and seeing how it emerges and how it develops. We've estimated we're going to save in at the region of £22 million across the whole of the Magnox fleet. And the great thing about this is that we can buy as many of these items as we think we need. Uh, we can uh, transfer them from one side to another when we finish using them. And of course the NDA can have this equipment at the end for any of the rest of the NDA's estate. Magnox first approached us in 2011 with the requirement to vacuum dry nuclear waste. Um, our first reaction was, they're crazy. We started by conducting some small scale trials just to try and prove whether the waste streams could be dried using this technique. We started off with a number of trials with simulants of the waste streams at 10 kilogram scales, then we progressed to 200 kilogram scale trials. The results from these trials were so favourable that it gave us the confidence that we could go to a full scale prototype system. The question of how dry the waste needs to be has been something the MIMP team has been working on for quite some time and it's really waste stream specific. The amount of residual moisture in the waste after drying will be just enough to prevent microbial activity and corrosion of the waste form. And the intent of the AVDS is to, is to stop just at that point and prevent over drying and excessive conditioning times. Also com recently completed a full scale trial using a type 6 DCIC where we conditioned 2,100 kilograms of sludge simulant down to a moisture content of around uh, 1% which was confirmed by sampling. It will form a key part of the RW programme at Barclay over the coming years uh, and also is available across the Magnox fleet. What Mechatech have brought to us is a, a good understanding of industrial application of vacuum drying technology and they've brought to us state-of-the-art solutions to the problems we were trying to solve, be it hydrogen generation or trying to limit the amount of secondary waste arisings that are produced. And what we found is that by putting together a very small team of dedicated people, we've been able to achieve a massive benefit to Magnox and to the NDA uh, and we're going to see that benefit resounding for a number of years to come. So AVDS is a really exciting prospect for the RW programme and I'm really looking forward to deploying it across the rest of the Magnox sites. We've worked really hard with Barclay site to develop this equipment and it will be expected to be used across all Magnox waste with all the package types that we're planning on using. Moreover, disposability and demonstrating that to our stakeholders is key and this equipment has been designed specifically to give us confidence in making that case. Um, it wasn't that long ago that the um, conditioning project team were developing the conditioning plant um, off-site and conducting inactive trials. Um, since the successful completion of those trials, the team are now focused on delivering an operational conditioning facility. Uh, this work is currently ongoing and uh, the team are poised for success as we um, move ever closer to actually conditioning our first active package.